welcome back to the Horror Show. I'm Marsha Parker, and I'm here with Melissa Hutchinson. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. And you guys may recognize that lovely voice from a game called The Walking Dead as Clementine. Now, how did you get involved with this? Um, you know, I've been doing voiceover for many, many years at this point. Uh, and, you know, part of the beginning game work that I've done in voiceover has been with Telltale Games. Oh, okay. Um, all the way back to Sam and Max. You know, the aud audition came through just like all, all of the jobs I still have to audition. And um, her little character came my way and I was super excited because I was already a huge fan of the Walking Dead franchise. I think it was like season two of the show. And so I was already hooked on that. And I was like, oh my God, I want on this game so bad. And um, I read for most of the, the female characters, but little Clementine, we just, she just really clicked with me. And it had to be very real. They were actually auditioning children for this part. Oh, wow, yeah. Because uh, it needed to be it was kind of a risk putting a kid in a game mm -hmm. to begin with, just because kids can either people will love them or they'll be like, oh my god, kid, go away. It needed to be very authentic, and uh, and the you know the goal was for the player to want to protect this kid. And I found I found this. I don't know exactly how to explain where I I found her voice, but um, I did, and I instantly fell in love with this character, and and it just worked. So it was it was a really cool experience for me, and that whole first season was just uh, it's still a pinch me like it was just, it's just I'm, I'm here I go to conventions I get to meet fans it's very surreal and I'm very grateful. Well, and you did so much with this character you were able to carve out a whole nother realm of The Walking Dead right. with her. Right. Yeah. Now how does how does that feel? Uh, again, you know, I, I to be a part of that universe is, I mean, it's crazy. Uh, her character is just as strong as anybody that's in Rick's group. I mean, she, yeah, she literally has her own Walking Dead universe at this point, and she's such a strong female character, and uh, I'm just so honored to play her, and... Uh, you know, I, I go to other conventions, <clears throat> excuse me, where there are actors from the show, and I'm just like, it's, I'm kind of looking around like, oh my God, how did I get here? Right. But it makes sense, because the writers on this game created something, uh, I mean, that was literally a game changer, and she's still here, and there's going to be a season four, and you're going to be playing as Clementine, and it's... You know, I don't. I wish I, I knew yeah. like what's going to happen with this fourth and final season. Yeah. Um, and I don't want to spoil anything for anybody who hasn't played season three. But I would love to. In my world, it would be like Walking Dead season twenty-eight. You know, right. and it's like forty-three. And who, you know, um, but I don't know. I, I'm interested to see how they're going to put closure to her story, and maybe in some other universe we'll see her and we'll spend time with her. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to. It's, it's kind of, it's a little bit of mixed emotion, a lot of mixed emotions for me. It's, it's bittersweet. Um, I'm going to be really sad. But I also, I, I kind of like the idea of them not wrapping up her story because, of course, I'll miss her. But it, I'm just really excited to see where they go. What is it like having to play a role where it can go multiple ways and not really knowing what the end result is going to be for the player? Yeah, it's, um, as I, me and Dave will often say when we do panels, it's actually a really cool workout for us as, as actors because we record those dialogue choices, you know, one after another. So you're going from, like, kind of a ambivalent response to a sassy, snarky response to a more kind response. And it's just, it's, it's really cool how that plays out uh, for each individual player gets to create their own path. I mean, ultimately, the endings are going to be what the endings are going to be, but just to be able to engage emotionally and have a player, you know, make a choice and like, oh my God, you know, Clementine will remember that. And you're like, why did I do that? Why did I kill this person? I didn't want to do that. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's just a really special experience for us as the actors, 
and then talking to uh, the fans and myself, I play the game as well. Yeah. So, but my decisions are usually, you know, a little more selfishly involved. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I want to hear like her response to this because I remember recording it, and I want to see how it plays out with all the, you know, in the action. And do you get to hear like while you're recording? Do you hear everybody else's lines? Or are you just separated? Do you know what they are? We are separated. <laughs> they keep <laughs> us separated. Uh, we just can't, you know. Um, for season one, primarily, I didn't hear any of the lines of the other actors. I mean, you see the lines in the script, uh -huh. so you can read them. And we have a director that reads with us. Um, season two, most of the actors, well, actually, in season one, that horrible final scene, Dave Fenoy actually recorded his lines before me. So I was hearing them in the headphones. So I got to act with him, and that was horrible. Uh, I mean, it was great. Yeah, <laughs> it was horrible. Horribly great and amazing. Uh, season two, the, most of the actors did record before me, so I got to work off of them a lot. But it's a very solo experience. But, you know, that's just kind of how it has to, to be in, in the game business for the most part. And um, are you looking to do any more horror-generated video games or... Are you interested in that kind of role? Oh yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I'm I'm a big fan of the horror genre. Uh, I don't know if it's good for my brain. <laughs> so I'm getting more anxiety over the years. I'm like maybe I shouldn't be watching that. Uh, no, of course. I I mean, there's uh, as a voice actor, you'll take whatever job you get uh, for the most part. But um, yeah, it's, it's kind of cool. You know, I do a, some animation that's real lighthearted and more kid-based. So it's, it's actually really fun to delve into the darkness of a scary world. Um, so, yeah, I would totally be open to that because I'm a fan of that genre myself. If, if you could pick any sort of, like, theme, whether it be, like, ghost theme, kind of like paranormal activity or slasher, like a Jason, what, what kind of video game would you say you would want to go towards? I kind of like the ghost story thing. Yeah. Yeah. Slasher's, a, Slasher's great. I love it. I love the movies. But that might be a lot of, right. you know. <laughs> it's hard on the vocal cords. A, le a little less so story. Maybe something a little more, like, you know, in the spirit world. Yeah. Yeah. A little more depth to the story. So you do like horror and you're into horror. What was one of the things that dragged you into, into that realm? Uh, irresponsible parents. I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> what are you kids watching in there? Nothing. The Exorcist. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, literally, I remember seeing Friday the 13th when I was a little kid when it was on TV and just like, huh, what's this? And just, you know, I, you know, I didn't have a strong sensitivity. I mean, it was scary and it affected me, but I wasn't like one of those kids that was just like, ah, turn it off. I was just kind of, I got engrossed in it. And yeah, Friday the 13th, The Exorcist, Halloween, those are probably the first movies that I saw that I was just like, I don't know. I kind of, I, I dig it. Yeah. 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 So. I think that's what got most of us into it, I think. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. 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 They're really good. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sitting with me today and going over this. It's been fascinating. This game has been one of my favorite Telltale games that have come out. So I'm excited to see where Clementine's going. I know they're excited to see where Clementine's going. So keep up the awesome work. And congratulations on the re on the award that you won. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, it was, yeah. yeah. I know. Like, it's crazy, this game. I didn't honestly even really know that that kind of stuff existed for voice actors. And then when this game, you know, blew up off the face of the planet, Dave and I going to award shows and being nominated and winning awards was, uh, I felt like Dorothy from Kansas <laughs> on the red carpet. I was like, ah, what am I doing here? Oh my God. You know, it was yeah. just amazing, amazing experience. So thank you. Yeah. Well, yeah. congratulations. It is, you earned it. And thank you guys for joining us here at the Game Expo here in Phoenix, Arizona, 20. 2017 um that one's for you cecil and uh remember stay, stay scared, scared.